Hi there, babies, and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. Sweets Calore here. Um, if you don't already know, I am a military vlogger. I do beauty vlogs. I do makeup. I do all that. So if this is your first video, welcome to my channel. And since you're here, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. So hit that button right now. So if you're not a loyal subscriber, then you don't know that I just wanted to point this out. Since I'm doing a talking video and I'm close to the camera, and I'm going to try my best to look at this way because usually I'm looking this way and this is my screen, so I need to look at the camera. Um, I had surgery last week, so this right here is a product of my surgery, as well as if you see this little brown thing that's on my tooth, it's also a product or a result of my surgery. My mouth is healing. I'm still swollen a little bit. I have a little bit. I sound a little funny. Face is still a little swollen. So, if anybody's wondering why I sound funny, why I'm holding my mouth like that, why is this shit right here, uh, why is this right here, it annoys me, it might distract you, so I just wanted to get that clean and out the air before I get comments like, what's wrong with her mouth, blah, blah, blah. I had surgery and it's healing. So, this video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a military pros and cons video. Now, before I say this, for anybody that's already in the military, somebody that's going to be a future soldier, or whatever the case may be, these are my opinions. This is not by any means here means for me to try to what bash the army or the military, bash anything. This is just my opinions, and I have the right to say and feel the way that I feel. So these are my pros and cons about my experiences while being in the military. So go ahead and grab some popcorn, have a seat, and join me on this little trip we're having today. That was so lame. Here we go. So let's start off first with the pros. So pros of being in the military. First, I'm going to say stability. And when I say stability, I mean like the thought of knowing that everything's going to be okay. You have somewhere to stay. You have money. You don't got to worry about nothing really. Like you're good. You have stability. You know you're going to be straight. Which can also be a con in the long run. I'm just going to say it now because... People get comfortable. If this is not something that you enjoy doing, people get comfortable with this military lifestyle and never get out. And if they don't like it or suffering through because they're comfortable and they're scared to get out because they think they're not going to get a job or they're so used to being in the military or so used to being comfortable in this lifestyle that they don't get out. If you want to stay in, this is your passion. Go ahead, stay in. But I know a lot of soldiers that are scared to get out because they don't know what's going to happen or they're just comfortable with how they're living right now. So it's like, why get out? Which is true, but if that's not something you want to do, if that's something that you're passionate about, then yeah, it's a little, a little weird. Okay, so my second one will be education. While in active duty, you get free military, I mean, you get free schooling. So right now, I can go to school for absolutely free, unless you fail your class. You fail your class, you gotta pay for it. But you know, I get, I go to school for free. Or I can go to school for free. Anybody can go to school for free. All you got to do is, you know, make sure you're doing the right thing and be squared away and you can go to school. Like, that's not even an option. Go to school while you're in the military. Why not? It's free. Um, and in the reserves, you get tuition assistance. We just get You get help with school in general. Like, definitely a good aspect. And when you get out, you can use your Montgomery GI Bill or I know some people transfer their Montgomery GI Bill to their kids. So, Yeah. Another one will be medical. So as I said, I had surgery, so I had all wisdom teeth pulled. And I had another surgery on top of that because I ended up getting an infection causing me to get an abscess. And I didn't pay for nothing. Like my medical is covered, 100% covered. Anything that happens to me covered. I break a leg, I break a toe, I break my finger, I d cut my eye open, uh, my brain falls out. They're gonna, they're gonna stitch me back together no matter what. Like you get hurt, you get fixed. Um, as well with dental, hello. Um, besides braces, braces are different because a lot of people see me talk about dental and medical and they're like, well, why don't you have braces? Well, number one, because if my, my teeth aren't severe enough or my jaw needs to be broken, then they will not pay for your braces. So you have to pay for it out of your pocket. And if you didn't know, braces are about $6,000. So people always ask me why I don't have braces. Maybe because I don't got $6,000 I want to pay. But no, I do, I'm about to get them. Anywho, but uh, yeah. Next would be you get to travel. So you definitely, definitely, definitely get to travel while you're in the military. Even if it's not like a like you went overseas or you went somewhere to travel, like 
even if you're getting stationed stateside to stateside to stateside, that's somewhere that you possibly could have never been. Like, especially people who have come from a place where they wouldn't be able to travel. They get to the military and they get stationed in Texas. They go to Alaska. Then they go to Hawaii. Go to New York. Like, I got to go to Korea. So, you definitely get to travel. And not only that, which would be another con, I mean, pro, would be pay vacations when you do want to travel. So, as people know, I went to Thailand when I was in Korea. Paid for Everybody acting like, oh, you get paid when you go on vacation? You make salary. You get paid on the 1st and the 15th of every month, no matter how many days you take vacations. Some people say they vacation days up and they get like 70 days. You take all 70 days at one time and guess what? You're chilling at home and you're getting paid on the 1st and the 15th. So, hello. That's lit. So, yeah, definitely, definitely lit. Paid vacation. You get to travel. Another one would be free rent. So, basically, you live inside the barracks and, um... You know, you don't pay for lights, you don't pay for utilities, the same thing. You don't pay for utilities, you don't pay for your water, you don't pay for nothing. Like, you come in, you get a room, they give you a bed, they give you a shower. Sometimes they give you a stove. I looked up and got a stove and um, a microwave. I got a whole kitchen, I got a garbage disposal. Hello, fancy. Um, I didn't look up and get the, uh, the washer and dryer in my room, but it's in my building. Um... You know, I live in a building, I live on post, so I'm secure, I don't have to worry about nobody breaking in and trying to steal my stuff. Everything is recorded, so, you know, you don't got to worry about none of that. Um, but yeah, but basically, like, free rent or free, yeah, and then, like, free food. I say free because they literally take your food money out of your check, so you never see it. So, basically, it's free, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you never see the money, you don't miss the money. You don't have to spend no money if you don't want to. You can... Excuse me. You can basically save up a lot of money. You don't pay bills. I mean, like rent. And then you don't have to pay for your food. So, what are you doing? Like, just save your money up. Don't eat out. Eat at the defect. But sometimes, sometimes the defect be nasty. So, you got to eat out. Like, ugh. depends. Fort Bragg's defect is the best defect I've had so far. Um, another one would be, would be dependent pay. So, if, you have, if you're married... Or you have a child or you take care of like your mom and they're actually you're dependent you get paid for them so in Virginia if you have a daughter I mean you have a kid or you have a dependent you get extra $1,300 on top of your check to pay for your rent so you get your regular base pay let's say your base pay your your PV2 so you're a private your base pay is probably about six to seven hundred dollars uh, every two weeks and you get extra $1,300 on top of that to pay for your bills so that's lit right I mean, what job is going to pay you to have a daughter or have a kid or have a dependent? None. Um, um, another pro would be discounts, like military discount. You get it on clothes, shoes, food. And then, you know, just pride in wearing your uniform, like walking around and people, when they find out you're in the military, it's like, so sometimes they're so in awe, like, oh my God, well, maybe because it's me and I'm like 4'9 and weigh 88 pounds. So they're like, you in the military? But... Definitely you get a sense of pride putting on your uniform every day and, you know, doing something that a lot of people don't have the courage and only 1% of the people are actually doing. So, yeah, that's one thing. Another thing would be the job that you get will transfer in to the military, I mean, transfer outside. So, imagine wanting to be a dental assistant. I'm not sure. I think their schooling is like two weeks, I mean, two years. I don't, I don't know. Let me not lie, but okay, let's say, for instance, you got to go to school to be a dental assistant. Let's say in the military, you pick dental assistant as your MOS and then you go to AIT. I don't know how long your AIT is, but basically you're going to school to learn the job and then you get out. I mean, you um complete AIT, you go to your duty station, you do your job and you get out and you can go be a dental assistant. A dental assistant. Like, whatever job you get in the military will transfer until you get out. Me, unfortunately, I'm 88 Mike. So, I'm not, I don't want to drive no trucks when I get out. So, I didn't pick a, I didn't pick a good job. So make sure you do your research, but I didn't pick a good job, so, so, you know, yeah, I don't want to be a truck driver. Another one would be, it's a great path to choose, I feel like, if you don't know what you're doing, you're young, like, you're just confused on what you want to do in your life, the military definitely will steer you in the right direction, whereas you might join and think that this ain't for you, and then you go and you're like, oh, 
Oh, I love it. This is, I love the military. I love what it stands for. I love this discipline. I love all this. Or you might get in the military and realize like me and find your passion. I find my passion. I know what I want to do when I get out. The military isn't something that I want to stay in 20 years, but we'll see what happens. You know, I might be one of the ones I said earlier and abstaining in because I'm comfortable. Um, and then I, the last one for me would be you meet so many beautiful people, so many beautiful souls, some people that will have your back more than your family will. And that's the truth. Like, People I've just met treat me better than half the people I've known for a long time. Like, with me starting my business, like, it's just a great network. It's a big network. It's like a big old gang. Like, the army, the military is a gang to me. It's a big gang. And if you're in the military, y'all both in the military, you know somebody's in the military, like, y'all lit. Like, y'all automatically sometimes have that connection because y'all what y'all been through in the military. And y'all can relate on so many different levels that, boom, y'all already made friendship. Like, boom, like that. Like, it's just like, we're friends. So now let's get into the cons. And I'm like, oh, oh, give me like, go in the bathroom and throw a fit and come back out like, Roger that. A motherfucking minute. Wait, bitch. Wait. What? That's it? Bitch, did this much? Are y'all sure? Did I get demoted? <laughs> 